Hello. Hello, good afternoon from me, Raid1 D Wing here. Uh, today, April 27th, I'm going to show you how to create a process in ERP software, basically belonging to the popular family of Compare, which uh, was originated in uh, 1999 and um, at least um, 2006, open Bravo fork from Compier. And Compier was then sold in September 2006, a Dampier was created, which I'm the founding leader. And in 2012, we have evolved it into iDampier that has the OSGI plugin uh, framework, which won the um, iDampier won the Bossy InfoWorld 2015 award last September. After 10 years of his, well, 9 years of his existence. Now basically, and yes, it's the campaign season of the U.S. Uh, elections and I'm supporting Donald Trump, so please send campaign contributions. No, I'm joking, just send to me, um, if you like what I'm doing, to my PayPal account here. Now let's get to it. When we are setting up a process, you we do it through metadata, which is done in the application dictionary, where we define a menu, attach a process to it, and in the process we define parameters and also the Java code namespace, they will link it and then you code your Java code. I'll show you all this in a while, but just want to touch a bit that uh, you will see that in iDampier, different from the other application, is that we have a window toolbar where, you know, in a window you can pull down from the top menu and it will link to processes that you define. And we are using plugin extension, so you can debug the copy from core, this will really be um, helping your software to be very well maintained, easily maintained, lower cost, and more stable. But knowing me, I was able to work with the source code, I created a magic plugin, I call it the Aladdin magic plugin. It does many things, um, generate new model tables, info windows, master detail, and in this last almost last of the series of videos I'm going to show you that it will generate a process on the fly all this above with just a single window a single click with three simple lines and even write out uh, your logic stub and you just continue the Java code okay you can follow my forum here and the source um, or you can take the binary you can run from binary but uh, you'll be written to your source location so you can go and fetch the source from the big buckets and once it's fetched that's where I have it here this is the source and this is my core program that's generate all the magic for you let me just switch it off I have it running and when you log in okay you log into the system let me let me log it out just to show you again when you log in um, you go in as a system menu all right so to do it call up the new menu I, I, I'm already done it uh, this is now a rerun let's say imagine that process wasn't there okay so to do that you have to click on hash change you can uncheck the others you can run it with the others but in this case we just want to specific look at generating a process you can call it whatever name you want okay so as I've generated something called my process then let me do it some other thing my special process okay you're creating a new process and you can put in elements that you want to have as parameters and in this case I want to put in say business partner ID see order ID that means you have two parameters there, one is a business partner element and a sales order element. Of course, you have to memorize these elements and these elements must be present in your element model. If not, it will throw an error, but don't worry, it will roll back. There will be nothing done. So now it's all there. Let's save it. But if you want to put something extra, just let's say I want the price list as another question, let's click on it. Okay, then we go back to the source code and refresh it. You'll notice that your code is created. And to do the plugin, because now we're going to make it work straight away, go to your plugin text. You see here it's created. Copy this. Go to the plugin XML 
paste it there, save it. And if you come to, you see a new process has been created, it's called My Special Process, and you click on it, voila, automatically the class is magically created for you. Okay? And the three parameters is done. Right, now let's see how it works. Um, why don't we put a break here? We just retest it and uh, we got to refresh the plugin. The plugin is 177 here, so we press refresh 177. We will restart the plugin. It's as easy as that. You see how fast I could do it. It's really a magic lamp. Um, that's. Um, Let's first examine what's been created. Now, if you go to in a report and process, um, let's go to my special. You see, it's created with the three parameters, right? Magically for you, okay? Because these are as I say, all the references down there, and they are attached to the menu, okay? So, and even the Java class is defined here. So if you go to the menu, you'll find it there. Here you are, my special process, attached to this process. You click on it, it comes to your repo process. All right, so now let's close it all because now we're going to run it. See, it's very simple, and you don't even have to define um, uh, parameters at the application dictionary. It's all done in one single window, three strokes. Okay, now you log in as a uh, your user client. Wait for the KPI to come up. So, your process is here. You can just drag it here to run it, and if you click on it. Um, should come out here. Yeah. These three parameters will come out on the fly, and you, you can enter things if you want. So let's me enter. Um, business partner, best Joe. Right. And I'm not sure what uh, it says. All the days. Let's see. Does any says all the day? Sticking from the database. <coughs> Oh. Let's do one by one, Joe. Joe Block. Ah, uh, because we were looking on it. Okay. He was looking under a non vendor. Okay, you search it. Uh, it is, and uh, let's have some sales order. I'm not sure what's the database here. It's an empty one. Um, let's, let's see if any sales transaction. Refresh it. Okay. Ah, for Joe Block. Okay. Price list. You, oh, the price of it. Blah, blah, blah. But as you run it, yeah, because we put a debug here. There's no logic here yet, of course. You now just code the logic. You don't have to worry about parameters. If you mouse over, you see. There is it. Yes, capture the ID. Sort of. Price list, we don't put anything. So here's all defined for you. Of course, it's doing nothing. It just goes through. <coughs> now, uh, like I said, um, we have this extra thing called the toolbar link process. You can also do it with this magic plugin. Because I say it's all the above. Okay, how do you do that toolbar plugin? Let's uh, go back. Go back to your system admin. If this is a bit confusing, you can always go to my um, forum here where everything is uh, discussed in more detail. Uh, I'm just trying to speed things up because I believe many of you have followed my tutorials are quite expert or accomplished already. So to do this um, magic toolbar, you first have to attach it to a window. Let's let's create a new window. Okay. Let's go a real window called um, uh, my statistics and uh, yes. 
you can put wise leaves in and skip this as in and see Alright. Let's go in, like it. And this window is created uh, where if you were to go back to the model designer, you can call the window in. And maintaining the same information, you will not recreate the metadata, but you will recreate your uh, code. But this time you'll create a toolbar. Okay, should be done. Let me check if there's any error. And it recreated the source code. So, very simple, just uh, relocking back to your user. And you will notice a new table statistic. Okay, you can drag it to your favorites. Open it up. Here you are, you, you can start entering information, blah, blah, day of the week. It's all created on the fly, very easily. Price, business partner, and uh, order. Yes, you save it, all right? And you can continue putting in more data and so forth. But the toolbar now is now at that share, my special process. Look at this. See? It works. And you can go on and click it you'll go back right here so that's what we have done is that like I said we are able to create menu with a process action and the process action linked to a toolbar process with parameters and linked to your Java code where you just have to continue coding and all done by the Aladdin magic lamp okay let me just let this pass through so let's examine the created if you were to do it manually, you will have to do like I showed you early on. You will have to call up the menu. Okay. You have to create a new item. Blah, 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 yeah. And uh, here and call it my special process. And then choose the process action and then zoom to a new process. Create it and then attach it to here. Right? It is, Put in the code uh, cl class name, define the parameters here. Okay, a lot of work. And then to create that window just now, my statistics, this one, you have to. Sorry, I think it's called just statistics because it's mostly pre fix. Right, you have to create your tab. Your fields that was created on the fly just now, and a toolbar button, which is also created for you. So automatically done, link to the process. Okay, everything beautifully done, very fast. That's it from me. Uh, you can follow the forum where it describes it slowly. You can read it step by step. Okay, and can examine that your code is done. That's here. Okay. And if you're to refresh, you see all your code there. Right. Look at this. <clears throat> and then of course you can just export out. Once you've done all your work, you can export out your plugin and send it like I did to my B bucket. Sorry, my binary. Put a plug in and your users can just use it in. Of course the metadata um, of all this um, repo process and menu setting, you have to pack out. And if you want to pack out, I already made a automatic pack out model. Here it is. So just define that you want to put a process here and pack it out. So that's it from me here, and uh, thank you for listening and watching and supporting this project. And if you like to donate, you can always send your contribution to my PayPal. That's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye from Kuala Lumpur.